Angry Little Dinosaur by Jade Maitre. Fred was so angry. It all started when his shoelace wouldn't tie the way he wanted it to. When he pulled it too hard, it snapped. Then he had to find a new pair of shoes without laces and someone had put them somewhere where he couldn't find them. Fred stomped around his house looking for a new pair of shoes and the longer he couldn't find them, the angrier and angrier he got. He was stomping so angrily that he kicked his toe and that really hurt. He let out a huge roar. It was so loud that it made the earth tremble. His parents came running from behind the big volcano where they were sleeping. What's wrong, they asked Fred. Everything, said Fred. Mummy frowned. Surely not everything, Fred. Everything, said Fred, more definitely. Really everything, asked Daddy. But Fred had given up answering. He sat right where he was, on a prickly bush. Ow, he cried, jumping up and holding his tail. And then he forgot that his own tail was prickly too, and it pricked him. Ow, he wailed again. See, everything about today is bad. It seems to me, said Mummy, that you need to take a few big breaths. You are like that big volcano over there. The hotter you get, the more you're bubbling over. If you can close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, you will be able to cool down. And then you will be able to really watch what you're doing and think about things more calmly. I think you'll find everything will be better then. Could it really be possible? Fred decided things couldn't be any worse. He closed his eyes and relaxed his angry face. Already he felt a little bit better. And now that he was quiet, he could hear his breaths. In they came and then out they went again. Fred could feel the air filling his body like a cool drink of water. He could feel the sun on his face and it was warm. He noticed how he'd been feeling before, hot like a volcano. His heart had been beating fast and his blood rushing about his body like he wanted to fight something. Now he could notice how he was safe and how quiet everything was. And as he stood there feeling those feelings, a new idea came to him too. I know where my shoes are now, he exclaimed. I took them off yesterday when I went swimming in that muddy mangrove. I will go and get them. Fred walked through the forest and back to the muddy mangrove. There were his shoes waiting for him. But now that Fred felt better, he remembered how much fun it was to swim and play in that muddy mangrove. I don't think I need my shoes at all, Fred decided. He took a run and jumped, splash, right into all that delicious mud. It was warm and nice and sloppy in the mud. Fred flopped around in it all morning. And his belly flops made the earth tremble. But this was in a much better way for everyone. The end.